Okay, I'm going to show you how to install a new theme onto your WordPress website. Um, there are many places to get a th to get themes. Um, WordPress.org has quite a few that are available for free. Uh, if you want to pay a few extra dollars, 50 or 70 or 100 dollars or more, uh, you can definitely get some very nice looking uh, website designs uh, all over the internet. So um, I'm just going to go here. We're on WordPress.org. Go to Extend. Then we're going to go into the themes directory. Uh, you can see there's quite a few themes available. I'm just going to scroll down here and pick one I like. You can just immediately download it, or if you click on here, you can get a preview of it. I'm going to hit download. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open it um, in Windows Explorer. And then I'm going to go ahead and extract the files. I'm going to go ahead and put these in, uh, I guess, my documents folder. It's going to extract them, and you see that the the there's a folder here. If I go down into there, you can see all the files related to this theme. Now, what we need to do is get these files all on our um, on our website. So the way we do that is we're going to use a um, FTP program. Well, I've uh, I've got a Fire FTP up here. Now I've got another video that shows you how to download this and install it. But this is a free FTP program that uh, you can install into Firefox. And uh, once you do that, you can create a, a link to your hosting account. Which on the right here, I have my hosting account. On the left, I have where I just downloaded my um, theme. So I'm going to move this folder onto my hosting account. And where you need to load that is a specific place in your installation. So when you first connect to um, your hosting account, it's going to look something like this. You want to go into your public HTML folder. And then you want to go, this is like the root directory of your website. And um, all these files here are what's running your website. So I want to go into the Word or WordPress content folder, wp-content, and I want to go into the themes folder. If I click on that, you can see I have the two themes that, are, that come installed by default. And I want to add a theme to it. And all I have to do is highlight this folder and click this arrow to tr start the transfer. And down below here, you'll see that here are all the files that are being uploaded to my website right now. So. Um, when someone says FTP or file transfer protocol, um, that's um, that's what we're talking about. So um, it only take a few minutes to upload this, and then once this is all these files are uploaded, we'll be able to uh, activate this theme on our website. And it looks like we're getting close to being done down here. It's only got a few files left. All right. So it didn't take long. There's only a few files, really. Uh, depending on the theme, you know, it can be more or less files related to it. It might take a few extra minutes to get those uploaded. So now I'm actually logged into my WordPress website, and um, we can see that uh, if we go into the design portion of the site. We now have three themes. I have the two over here that came standard, and then the, here's the one I just uh, uploaded. And uh, I didn't have to do anything to add that other than upload it. So here's a little preview now that I clicked on here. It gives me an idea what it's going to look like live on my site. And I want to go with this, so let's go ahead and activate it. So I've just updated the current theme, to this new theme here. And if I click on Visit Site, uh, you can now see that my website design has totally, totally changed. So um, it's just a. This is one of the great things about WordPress. You can easily change the look and feel of your website uh, just by downloading a f totally free theme. Didn't cost anything. Uh, took a, a couple steps to upload, and uh, once you do that once or twice, you'll be um, looking for new themes uh, and just find the exact right one that's great and works for uh, whatever your, the topic of your site is. Now this one's pretty generic. It's a nice clean look. Um, you know, not much color to it, but um, someone who knew what they're doing 
little Photoshop. You could probably doctor up this image or find just another theme that has a little more color if that's what you like. So, um, but this theme looks really clean and nice, I think. I'll probably stick with this at least for a while. So, uh, go ahead and check out uh, the WordPressYourself.com website and uh, keep looking for videos on how to how to maintain your website. Thank you.